Hello students, let's continue with the goods and services tax GST part 3 today. Now we will take some uh, more types of problems. So we did till number 7, now let's take question number 8. Okay, you have to read the question very carefully. It says, a manufacturer marks an article at rupees 5000. So, Mark price is rupees five thousand. Okay. So he sells it to wholesaler at a discount of twenty five percent on the mark price, and the wholesaler sells it to retailer at a discount of fifteen percent, right? On the mark price, the retailer sells it to consumer at the mark price. So if the sales are intrastate and rate of GST is 12%, so here GST equal to 12%. So since sales are intrastate, CGST will be 6% and SGST will be 6%. Okay, so here the question says amount into the tax with which wholesaler pays. So we begin with wholesaler. So far, wholesaler. Okay, purchase price. Purchase price is equal to now see at what price he purchased. So, uh, manufacturer sells it to wholesaler at a discount of 25%. So, discount 25% means rupees 5000 minus 25% of rupees 5000. Okay, so uh, here 0.25 into 5000 will be 1250 okay so it will be 5000 minus 1250 rupees so equal to rupees uh, minus 5000 that will give you 3750 rupees 3750 okay so here you have to find out therefore Input CGST equal to it is six percent of uh, three seven five zero. Because purchase price is this one. Okay, so six percent of so into point zero six six percent will be two twenty five rupees two two five. So input is GST is also six percent of 3750 equal to rupees 225. Okay, now sale price. Sale price is now at what price he sells? So, uh, wholesaler at a discount of 20% mark price and the wholesaler sells it to retailer at a discount of 15%. So, sale price is rupees 5000 minus 15 percent of rupees 5000 okay so 15 percent of mark price so that is uh, 5000 minus 15 percent is 85 percent so 0. 0.85 into 5000 so that is 4250 so rupees 4250 so therefore uh, output in this because sell price so output CGST equal to 6% of 4250 equal to so into 0 0.06 that is 255 rupees 255 so output is GST is also 
rupees two two by detail is same. So this is done for wholesaler. Now uh, wholesaler sells it to retailer. So now for retailer. Okay, so uh, uh, for wholesaler, whatever is output that will become input for retailer because the sale price becomes his purchase price. Because wholesaler is selling to retailer, so wholesaler's sale price will be retailer's purchase price. So for him, input CGST will be rupees two two five, and input AGST also will be rupees. Two, now, at what price he sells? Okay, so sell price. At what price he sells? So now see the retailer sells it to consumer at mark price. So sell price is rupees five thousand. So therefore, uh, output CGST CGST equal to. 6% of rupees 5000 equal to rupees 300 and output is GST is also rupees 300. Okay, so for seller retailer also done. Now we try to find out the answers. So answer number one. It says the amount of tax uh, the amount inclusive of tax under GST which the wholesaler pays. So, amount paid by wholesaler including tax is equal to. So, amount purchase price is 3750 plus he will pay. Uh, Input tax two two five plus two two five. This is what amount paid by wholesaler. Because wholesaler he purchases at three seven five zero and you pay tax on this one two two five. So we we get here so two two five. So two two five into two. So that is four five zero plus three seven five zero three seven five zero. So that will make it 4200. So rupees 4200. This is the answer. This is what? Wholesaler paid. Okay. Now, answer number two. So, uh, question number two says the amount inclusive tax which the retailer pays. So, amount paid by retailer. Retailer inclusive of tax. So, for retailer, he will purchase at Rupees four two five zero. So four two five zero he purchases plus he'll uh, put input tax on this one. So that is on four two five zero tax is two fifty five. So two fifty five plus two fifty five because he paid tax on this one because his output becomes retailer's input tax. Okay. So a retailer. Uh, Input tax is 225, input 225. So that is, so uh, you will have 255, 255 into 2 plus 3, uh, 4 to 5 0. 4 to 5 0 is equal to 4 7 6 0. So rupees 4 7 6 0. Okay, so this what? Retailer is uh, number three. Question number three. It says the amount of tax which the wholesaler pays to central government. So CGST paid by wholesaler. For wholesaler, CGST will be output minus input. So output is rupees. 255 minus input is 225 so you have here 255 minus 225 250 minus 225 that is rupees 30 
Okay, so CG estimate for all seller is 30. Okay, then uh, question number four. So it says the amount of tax which the retailer pays to state government. So SGST paid by retailer. SGST means paid to state government. So retailer his output is uh, 300 minus his input is 225. Input is 225. Okay, output is a retailer. Output is uh, 300 and it is uh, input is 225. Okay, so so not uh, is 255. So is it 255? It should be 255. So here it should be 255. So retailer input is 255. 255 and this also 255 okay so uh, 255 it should be 255 so that will be uh, 300 minus 255 that will be rupees 45 rupees 45 this is the answer okay now uh, these are these things are you have to do very very carefully if there are many people in the process then you have to find separately suppose uh, here we are not writing manufa manufacturer because question uh, there's no question okay which says how much tax paid by manufacturer so manufacturer will collect only output tax that is equal to input tax of wholesaler so we can begin with wholesaler so for wholesaler find purchase price there input tax then find sale price then find output tax then next it will go to retailer. So retailer input will be same as wholesaler's output. So output is 255, the so same thing. So he'll sell it at 5,000. So output tax will be this one. So difference is what GST will pay. So difference of output minus input is what wholesaler will pay to the government. Okay. So now we'll see next question. Question number nine. Okay. Question number nine. This is also a long question now. So we'll do slowly. The printed price of an article is 40,000. So printed price equal to rupees 40,000. Okay, of an article. A wholesaler in Uttar Pradesh buys the article from manufacturer in Gujarat. Remember, wholesaler of Uttar Pradesh buys article from Manufacturer in Gujarat at a discount of 10 percent and on the printed price. So the wholesaler sells the article to retailer in Himachal Pradesh now. Okay, so three different states involved at 5 percent above the printed price. So if the rate of GST is 18 percent, so GST rate of GST is 18 percent. Okay, fine. So now here since Sales are interstate here. Okay, so IGST is levied here, that is 18%. Because when the sale is interstate, so state government doesn't get anything. The, all the taxes is collected by central government. So IGST is applicable here. So IGST will be full 18%. Okay, so now. Uh, printed price okay a wholesaler in Uttar Pradesh okay buys article from manufacturer in Gujarat at a discount of 10% so for wholesaler so for wholesaler okay so purchase price is equal to so wholesaler Uttar Pradesh buys the article from manufacturer in Gujarat at a discount of 10% so rupees forty thousand minus ten percent of forty thousand. Okay, so ten percent of forty thousand will be four thousand. So forty thousand minus four thousand will be rupees thirty-six thousand. Okay, so therefore 
IGST equal to 18 percent of 36,000 equal to rupees. So 0.18 into 36,000 is equal to we have 6480. 6480. Okay, so whole channel IGST. This is input. Input IGST. Okay, because purchase price. Now find sale price. At what price he sells the article? So uh, discount on the printed price. The wholesaler sells the article to retailer in Himachal Pradesh at 5% above printed price. So sale price is rupees 40,000 plus 5% of rupees 40,000. Okay, because 5% above. Okay, 5% of 40,000 will be 2,000. So 2,000 above 40,000 means it will be rupees. 42,000. Okay, because 5% of 40,000 is 2,000. Okay, 10% is uh, 4,000, so 5% is 2,000. 2,000 plus 40,000 will be 42,000. So, therefore, output IGST equal to 18% of rupees 42,000. So, that will be equal to 0.18% of 42,000. So that will be equal to 7560. So rupees 7560. Okay. Now this is for wholesaler. Now wholesaler uh, sells it to retailer. So for retailer. Okay. So input IGST. Is equal to it is rupees seven five six zero. Now sell price at what price he sells? Sell price is equal to now uh, retailer in a five percent above the printed price. If the rate of GST is eighteen percent, find okay. So ten percent price the. Wholesaler sells the article to retailer in Mazda Pradesh 5% above the price. Okay, so so in this case uh, now uh, because it's not sold, uh, sold to consumer, so retailer is no need to find. Okay, because for retailer tax rate is this one. Now let's try to answer the questions. Number one, it says the amount includes the tax paid by wholesaler. So amount paid by wholesaler including tax is equal to so wholesaler purchase price is rupees 36,000 plus he paid uh, tax 6480 so this is what he paid so the amount becomes 36,000 36,000 Plus six four eight zero six four eight zero. So that is forty two thousand forty two thousand and uh, four hundred eighty. So likely also we can do four eighty four eighty here. So thirty six plus six will be forty two. Okay. So this is the answer. Now question number two. Now question number two says the amount inclusive tax paid by retailer. So amount paid by retailer including tax okay so for retailer he purchased as rupees 42,000 because he also sold it to retailer so also the sale price becomes retailer purchase price so 42,000 plus tax will pay on 42,000 tax on 42,000 is 7560 rupees so 42,000 42,000 plus 7560 7560 so it will be 49,560 so rupees 49,500 and 
60. So this is what? The retailer pays to wholesaler. Now question number three. So number three says the amount of tax paid by wholesaler to central government. So amount of tax paid by wholesaler. Is equal to this is IGST paid by wholesaler. So a wholesaler is uh, input is this much and output is this. So difference is what he pays. So seven five six zero minus uh, input is six four eight zero. So rupees. This is the GST he paid. So that is seven five six zero seven five six zero minus six four eight zero. Six four eight zero. So it is one thousand eighty. So rupees. 1080 is what is tax or IGST paid. You can write, uh, you can also write here high GST paid by wholesaler. Okay, so question number four. So, this is the last question now. It says the amount of tax received by central government. So, high GST received means uh, it is received by central government only. So IGST received is final sale price is 40,000. So this is rupees 7560 is what government will receive in the end because this is what the retailer pays. Okay, that to wholesale. So this is the total IGST received because uh, it's not sold to consumer yet. So that's all government gets so far. Okay, the so next class will be taking some more questions, we will complete it. Okay.